<laughs> While marijuana enthusiasts may be touting the healthy effects of cannabis, the reality is a little less certain. But one thing is for sure, by making pot legal in Canada and by regulating its use, the government is looking to distribute a safe product to its citizens. Cannabis is already being used widely uh, by people in BC and people in the country. So the risks are already present. So one of the things that legalization can offer is safer products with known potency. Uh, other opportunities are the decrease, hoping to decrease the use of cannabis among youth, reducing stigma, reducing enforcement costs, uh, increasing control over advertising and distribution. According to Wyke, medical health officers broadly support the legalization and regulation of cannabis and other substances, recognizing there are risks attached, but overall they believe the benefits outweigh the risks. Wyke says there are immediate effects of pot use, as well as acute and chronic health risks for more frequent users. On the other hand, Wyke adds medicinal marijuana has been shown to successfully treat chronic pain in adults for chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting and improving patient-reported multiple sclerosis symptoms. There may be other therapies benefits to marijuana use, but treatment for all other conditions have remaining concerns due to a lack of clinical research. The goals of legalization are really working to, to increase public knowledge around cannabis and substance use, to support as best we can our communities to have policies and practices that promote and protect health. It's not a health position alone, it's going to require a lot of collaboration from stakeholders and, and other vested parties. A business in Dawson Creek is hoping to jump in on the action and further the research. Clarity Medical currently provides access to medicinal cannabis and works with physicians to determine what THC and CBD do and how it helps or doesn't help patients. In addition, Clarity Medical's managing partner, Matthew Rivard, has also applied for a recreational sales license. It seemed like it would be a good idea to bring the understanding of products when people are coming in and being able to not necessarily share that information, but be able to direct people to places they can go if they need to. And with that comes, I guess, security and understanding you're getting a product from people that know the product itself. Rivard says their application is in with the city and after the election it will go to the board for approval. If everything goes according to plan, the new recreational sales store could be open in early December, potentially Dawson Creek's first recreational marijuana store. Taylor McIntyre, CJDC-TV News, Dawson Creek.